in today's episode Where can you eat and shop or wander around at this Malaysia King State of Johor? Keep watching and don't skip until the end and we will see the King's resident Hi all! In Johor, I found a Sabahan new chap. Let's try how it is. This will be Sabahan beef noodle recipe. Google Map is available inside my description box if you want to come here. I've ordered dry cordial with a side of soup with beef meat slices and beef balls for 15 ringgit for a big bowl we are here on a weekend and they encounter shortage of stuff so our order will take a while to come Here's my order and also iced tea for 3 ringgit. The noodle is a bit bland and is not flavorful comparing with the noodles in Sabah. The soup tastes also a bit bland and is not as flavorful comparing with Saba beef noodle. As for the beef ball, it is considered bakso. It's not 100% minced beef meat but have a lot of starch or fillers. Next, we are here at Eco Botanic City. This township offers premium gated landed residential, service apartment, and commercial units. The commercial site offers a wide range of eateries and restaurants, cafes, and convenience stores. Not forgetting an anchor big supermarket chain, Jaya Grocer. Hi uh, this is Forest City in Johor Forest City is one of Johor's free trade port It is easily accessible via land and water being only 2 kilometers from Singapore and adjacent to the Tuas second link between Johor and Singapore. It is one of the best place to see the sunset.
Max, we are here at the Sultan Ibrahim Stadium. This is the home of Johor Darul Tapsim Football Club of the Malaysia Super League. The stadium with a capacity for 40,000 spectators estimate construction cost was 200 million ringgit if you have the budget and a big family you may try the JDT Hammer tour whereby you experience going around the stadium riding the Hammer limousine tour Cap price per person will be 30 ringgit and operation hours for this Hummer tour is from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. For dinner, we're gonna have wood fire. Wood fire burgers was established in Johor Bahru in 2017. They serve succulent gourmet burgers and sides. Do note, the restaurant observe prayer break for the staff, so do plan your visit before or after the prayer break. Their burgers are priced from 19 ringgit onwards. Oh yeah, they don't offer any meals, drinks and side orders are separate orders. Nothing really fantastic about their burgers, what do you think? Do comment below if you have tried what fire in Johor. Finally, we are here at Istana Bukit Serene or Serene Hill Palace. This is the royal palace and the official residence of the Malaysian king. Am I lucky enough to see the king tonight?
announcement announcement for all Malaysian who is working in Singapore and commute using KTM daily to enter Singapore did you know starting 1st of August when you're going back to Johor you only pay five ringgit instead of five dollars to go back to Johor First, you will need to register yourself as a Malaysian through the KTM app and make sure you register using your NRSC number into the app and verify it either at the counter or at the self-service kiosk at ICQ. Do give a like and support my channel if you find this info useful. Thank you. On the next episode, Singapore is one of the most expensive city in Asia. And on the next episode, I will show you what you can do. See for free. See you on my next episode. Bye.